Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the most awaited thing, which is how to address the token limit. So there are many ways to do it. So in this first part, I will be talking about how can we do it using Langchain. And in my next video, I will be talking about some more options which we have to deal with this. So what is this particular error? So this error you must have seen if you are dealing with the API calls that this model's maximum context length is 4097 tokens. However, you request it for so and so tokens. So let's quickly understand this by create reproducing this error first. Okay, so I'm on my VS code and the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import Langchain packages. So what we are doing, uh, doing here is uh, we will take one huge text file. So this is the sample text file which I have taken. It is nothing but an ebook which I have taken it from the Gutenberg. And this ebook is kind of very huge. And when I'm trying to read this and summarize this, I got that particular error. So that's the reason I am with this particular video. So let's go ahead and import all the required packages first. So here we need to say document loaders import unstructured file loader and the one we need is langchain dot because we are going to deal with this problem using chaining mechanism so let's see how we can reproduce this first load summarize chain okay so these are the things we need and next thing is we will see how we can load the document so let's say load document for loading the document we will be using loader and we'll say unstructured file loader inside that we need to pass the path of file where it is saved so in my case it is saved under data folder and this is the file path okay next thing we need to create a document object and we'll say load this is the only code which we need for loading the document Next thing we need is load our language model. So for that, first of all, I will say import configuration. So this is the file where I have already placed my OpenAI key. And if you don't know how to grab this key, I would recommend you to watch out my previous videos wherein I have clearly explained this particular concept. After importing the configuration, I am going to say import Langchain import OpenAI. Okay, LLM equals OpenAI, and herein we will pass our Open API key, OpenAI API key, OpenAI underscore API underscore key, and we'll quickly read it from our configuration file. Okay. So once this is done, next thing is to use the mechanism to generate the summary. So for that, the first mechanism which I'm using here is using the stuff, stuff method. So let's create an object of model and say load summarize chain in which we will be passing our language model, which we have just defined here in the about step. Let me run this so that we can get benefit from the intelligence. It's going to take few seconds because, like I said, the document is very huge. Okay. Next, load our LLM. Okay. So, here we need to pass few parameters. First one is the uh, language model and the second one is chain type, which is stuff. Okay. The only thing which is remaining is to run this. And herein we will pass the document we just read in about line. Let me quickly execute this. So I'm hoping it will give us error. So this is the error what, uh, which I was talking about. The model's maximum context length is 4097 tokens. However, you requested 13,886 tokens. So it means we cannot go beyond 4096. So how can we read this particular document? How can we generate summary for this document? So let me clear this. 
So for that, we need to create chunks so that this large document can be broken into small, small documents. So let's create chunks. So we need to again import some package langchain dot text splitter and here we will import recursive character text splitter then we need to create a character text splitter and then we will call our recursive character splitter which will take chunk size and here chunk size I will be just saying 500 and then we will say chunk overlap. I'm giving here zero because it's okay for me if I'm missing few bits of pieces uh, here and there. But in case if you do not want to lose any information, you should provide some valid number over here. Okay. Then we will create the list of documents. So one huge document will be like broken into multiple documents so this is the variable which is going to hold all those documents and then we will say split documents okay so we are done with this let's run it okay next thing is you want to see like how many documents are generated or broken we can see here using print length docs let's see so out of one document it created 109 documents that means now we have nine uh, 109 chunks to process so what we are going to do here is we are going to use another mechanism because the stuff didn't work here so we are going to use map reduce so what is map reduce is let me quickly share my slide here Okay, so let's say this is your large document and you have divided into this multiple chunks. So in this case, one document is divided into three chunks and every chunk will have its own summary. Then ultimately we will club all those summary and we'll find uh, get the one joint summary and that would be the output which is shown to the user. So this is what we are going to achieve here. Okay, so let me create model object again and we will say load summarize chain and LLM would still be the same but this time we are going with chain type equal to map reduce okay and let's go ahead and say model dot run and docs now it's going to run this particular model on all the 109 documents which is gonna take some time. So what I'm going to do, do here is I will just pick first four or five, let's go with five documents. But in your case, if you want summary of entire document, then you have to pass just docs. But I'm going with initial five documents. So let me quickly run this. It's again going to take a few seconds. Okay, so here is the summary and you can read it it is about two ordinary people the woman is suffering from a temporary bout of nervous depression and all these things so this is the summary about the book the yellow wallpaper okay it is good because uh, multiple blocks can be processed or multiple api calls can be done at one shot but we do have chance that we may miss some piece of information here and there. So it means we should have some better way instead of map reduce. So let me quickly show you another way. And this way is called refine. Let me share my screen, uh, slide once again. And in refine, what we are going to do, uh, similar to previous approach this time also we are going to create chunks out of our document but instead of creating individual summaries and then clubbing them what we are going to do here is we will take summary of the first chunk 
and that summary will pass it along with the second chunk so it means now we will have everything from chunk 1 to chunk 2 now these two will generate summary and this chunk summary will be again clubbed with the next chunk of document so this is the three and this way we will get the final summary it means if we are going with this way we can at least say that we will have almost complete information what we are expecting so let's see how we can achieve this particular thing so we'll say model equal to load summarize chain llm is still the same but this time we have chain type as refine and let me run the same thing again and you will definitely notice some difference when we did map reduce and when we did this refine refine will get you more better uh, context and the output so let's give it a few seconds again Okay, so now what it is saying here is the Project Gutenberg ebook of the yellow wallpaper by Perkins is available for free with minimal restrictions for people in the United States and most of other parts of the world, although users will have to check the laws of country where they are located before using it. Okay, it can be copied, given away or reused under the Project Gutenberg license. Okay, it was released in so and so and most recently updated on January 4, 2021. It is written in English and is encoded in UTF character set. Then it is saying who produced it and later on it is telling a very nice story about it. So let's go ahead and quickly check that. So it tells a story of a married couple who are able to secure a colonial mansion, a hereditary estate, really available to ordinary people. Then John, a physician, is a practic uh, practical in the extreme and has no patience with which. So it is kind of a good summary, I would say. So if you will read this, you will get a gist of what this uh, book is all about. And that's the reason Refine is the most preferred method for me, if you will ask me. So this is my personal preference instead of going with MapReduce. So I hope you got an idea how you can break your huge data into chunks and then use the chaining model to perform all these activities. So if you are going with this way, definitely you will not get trapped by the same error which we saw earlier when stuffing everything in a single shot so if you want to know more about it like what all packages i have installed here or what all the missing pieces which i have not spoken definitely you can watch out my article uh, i will share its link in the comment section so that's all i have for today i hope you enjoy watching this video and if you find it useful make sure to subscribe my channel and throw a thumbs up thanks for watching